Hi there. Thank you very much for joining me here today in our safe place. I hope taking this time out for yourself comforts you in some way whether it be if you suffer from anxiety or you're stressed maybe feeling a little overwhelmed and you just want to take a little bit of time for yourself in which case that's the whole reason for my channel simply spending some time together sharing things that may interest you things that I've done that I've loved that you may like or may help you that I simply want to share So here we are, let's take a deep breath and just shake off the day and uh, Sundays are funny days aren't they? I've just been listening myself to the uh, top 20 musicals here in the UK they were voted by the general public I myself do love to go to musicals and of course at this time none of us have been able to go it's something that I very much enjoy sharing with my mum but again not able to do that at the moment but I have great memories of being in London it was something that uh, we started when I was kind of in my early teens and my mum took me to the West End in London to see the song and dance show with Wayne Sleep who was a ballet dancer and there was music I think it was in that show or the one after because it's such a long time ago Variations by Andrew Lloyd Webber and I just thought it was absolutely wonderful the theatres just how the age, how they looked on the outside and particularly in the inside almost the smell of the theatre anticipation of the show uh, just everything together and then to be absorbed into a show and at half time to discuss the first act or first half with my mum or family and friends that we were there with to then go back in to see the second half and the big finale and then to leave the theatre with this cloak that you'd be wearing of the whole show because it literally had dripped through to you um, so yeah I absolutely do love a musical I don't know whether you do me personally I like songs that uh, are powerful or move me as opposed to like all kind of boppy ones, uh, chippy, chippy chirpy ones. I like I like a good depressing musical song. And 
listening to the show today which was absolutely filled with some amazing, amazing music and hosted by the wonderful Elaine Page I've got my tea here with me because it's still pretty cold here in the UK not snow this week last, uh, last week the snow came down really heavy all of a sudden So much so I was just about to do something and it was all clear and I turned around and there was a couple of inches of snow outside and uh, I knew I had to drive back up to my business just to check on a few things. Um, I know I do diversify but sorry. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, I was just surprised, I think, also how many cars were out when uh, we're supposed to be in lockdown, but uh, to go out in the snow makes me a little bit nervous to drive. Um, you know, I'm, all, I'm always pretty steady, but uh, it's always in the back of my mind if you're going to be going up um, an incline, because where my business is, it's situated in one of the highest places in the area so there's no way to get to it apart from having to go up of course and then back down and already in that short period of driving in the snow there were a few cars already struggling to get up the hills and those pulling over and those that were turning into car parks on the higher area that uh I just, I just thought, well, they're going to get uh, snowed in, and uh, sure enough, later on we heard in the news that quite a few cars were snowed in where we live and around. Um, but um, yeah, and it lasted for a couple of days. It was very pretty, and in fact, on the. Um, that afternoon, my husband and I decided to just get a little bit of fresh air and take our dog for a walk, obviously keeping our distance from everybody. It was very, very quiet where we were, and we set off down the footpath and towards uh, some fields. I hadn't been there in a little while, but they were very familiar to me. And we were heading across the snow. And I could hear the ice cracking underneath us a little bit. And I knew there wasn't, or well, there shouldn't have been, a, um, a pond or a river underneath us. As uh, it was just a familiar field. And then we both remembered that obviously it had been um, really quite awful with the rain. So there had probably been a substantial flood on that field. And um, I retreated very gently and my dog retreated quite gently while I watched the ice crack around my husband. And he uh, only went in as far as his shin. And quite quickly to uh, to the walk, and uh, it's not much fun walking in the cold and having soggy trousers and soggy soggy socks and things. But uh, it was nice just to be out a bit of fresh air, and as I say, very very pretty. And it lasted a couple of days, and uh, now it's all gone. It's still cold, but. Uh, Yes, I def diversify from the, the shows, so, um, yes, listening to the top 20 today made me think what would be my top songs. I don't think I could do a whole top 20, well I probably could, because if you follow me, one, I love paper, two, I love pens, three, I love lists, four, 
I love any reason to do another list about a list. But if I had to narrow it down, what would it be? What, what would be your favourite songs from musicals or musical films? younger I was mad about uh, Greece um, but I wouldn't necessarily put that in there although I'm a huge fan of Olivia Newton-John um, but I guess the shows over the years that have really left their mark on me would be Miss Saigon uh, whole show itself I thought was amazing and I can't understand why today it was taken off the uh, West End in London you know for the whole scenery to change with the helicopter and the bright lights into the darkness of the story how moving the songs are I don't think it's called solar saxophone I think it's called something else but that's one of my favorites from that show, but definitely Miss Saigon would be in there. And I guess, I mean, I do love um, Les Mis, and Les Mis Miserable came in the top in one and two of this top. And I think there's some beautiful music. Um, I probably wouldn't have chosen One More Day as the top one. Um, it's empty chairs and tables. Just trying to think of other ones. Oh my goodness, I've just seen a naughty cat chase after some dicky birds. No. Sorry again, I diversify. I'm looking out of the window ahead of me. I think I've said in other um, videos of mine that I kind of look out onto a very cute little garden and there's little areas where my I've hung up uh, bird food and bits and pieces and little, little holes and cavities for dicky birds and my favourite little robin that comes to visit. almost like a little secret garden with some of the ornaments and it's with a garden for myself that I'd like to write a little story about but there's a grey cat from across the road that sometimes visits my garden and uh, it wasn't in my garden but I can just see over the wooden fence and um, it did a most impressive leap up a lamp post across to the fence across a hedge almost up a tree I suspect had his eye on uh, a little dicky birdie but he's now jumped back down and uh, all is well in the tree. The grey cat is going home hungry. Oh, nature can be so cruel can't it? Okay so Miss Saigon, um, lame is hmm, I did find with this show it was very dark. I know it's supposed to be a dark story, but it's the scenery didn't change like Miss Saigon. I do like it when things visually stimulate me as well. But again, that's just my personal preference. Um, I'm just trying to think. I mean, I mean Mary Poppins. I enjoy it. I absolutely adore. Um, the song Gethsemane from Jesus Christ Superstar. And I think originally, as I know, it was sung by Paul Paul Nicholas. Um, but again, my again my personal preference um, is it's sung by Michael Crawford, 
and I did see Michael Crawford in a show where he was singing all of Andrew Lloyd Webber's songs and it was absolutely amazing. Um, I mean, it absolutely sent goosebumps all the way up me. Oh, I, just thinking about it is absolutely fantastic. And when he sung Gethsemane, it absolutely blew me away. And, uh, well, Gethsemane, I think, was number 15 in the uh, chart today, so. Um, so that's a moving song, but. Um, I mean, there's some songs from Hairspray that I don't mind, but again, they're a bit chippy chirpy. Um, Billy Elliot, I enjoyed. I'd like to probably see that again at some point. Um, Joseph and his amazing Technicolor dream coat. Again, it has quite a lot of chippy chirpy songs, so I quite like the slow ones from there. And I know it's one of uh, my mum's favourites. Um, songs from musicals or Disney's that I enjoy but I wouldn't necessarily put them in the same category I mean <laughs> that's another whole sheet of paper and lists for top five Disney songs which I'm going to have to do now soon top top five Disney films in fact goodness me I can see a whole lot of lists coming on but I guess um, songs like and all that jazz I do like and Phantom I really enjoyed and although the sequel to Phantom uh, wasn't as popular I actually enjoyed and the music from it I really enjoyed. Um, just trying to think. Would I include that in there? It's one of my favourites. Don't know. Um, the songs obviously from Evita. And many songs by Elaine Page obviously hosted the show today. I think Cats, possibly from Memories. I do like that song. Quite powerful. And again, an amazing show to go and see when all the cats around you come up from the stage and they're all amongst the audience. Um, a wonderful, wonderful production that is. And the same with Starlight Express. To have cast on roller skates going all around you again it's a whole experience not just a show and then you've got ones like Annie um, when I was younger I thought you know oh, I'd like to go to a, a dance school or an acting school so that I could one day be in something like Annie or Bugsy Malone. Of course, that never materialised. And certainly 40 years later, I don't think it's going to materialise. Um, but again, some nice little tunes from there. I mean, it's not a musical, but I'll, I'll mention it anyway. Uh, one of the shows I absolutely adored. Uh, War Horse. I found it so incredibly moving and obviously it's based on the true life numbers and the amount of animals and horses that were sent over in the, uh, I think it was World War One. and it's horrendous but it's so moving and so clever and I had to see that a couple of times like I did Miss Icon because you just, you miss bits um, and the nature and 
and the mannerisms of the horses. It's just so incredibly lifelike. It's an absolutely wonderful, wonderful show. And when all of this is over, you know, I really hope, um, you know, all these shows can come back in some capacity. I mean, who knows? have so many and I just like them all for different reasons the same as if you say a musical film you've got Dirty Dancing fantastic you've got The Dream Girls fantastic which is also a show so I'm going to give that probably a bit more thought yeah a bit more thought isn't it when you sometimes reflect back to your childhood and just in that moment you're almost back there if I close my eyes I can almost smell some of the things when I was younger and I, or I can certainly feel how I felt yeah. I know you shouldn't wallow too much in the past because the past the past and the future hasn't happened yet um, I like to, I like to sometimes think back to my childhood and the things I did and I enjoyed with family, my growing up years, whether it was living in Holland or in the UK, the friends I made, the things I did, the things I loved, the things I love to do still now. I was always very mad about changing my bedroom around often I don't know if anybody else um, <laughs> did that or does that there's something about when you moved your bedroom around it was like just a whole f I don't know, fresh experience and exciting and to tidy things up to tidy your mind which, which again I do a lot now anyway I'm very much uh, reinforced tidy mind tidy life organising Sometimes probably I put a little bit too much pressure on myself. I probably just need to ease up slightly with that and just let life be. Not everything has to be perfectly arranged. Sometimes, um, particularly when my daughter was younger, if you were, if we were doing crafts and things and painting or collecting or whatever we were doing, you know, just that moment when it's a disarray of all sorts of things is really where it's supposed to be. Um, but, but, uh, we still had to clear up afterwards because I'm never going to change in that sense. A show on tonight actually on the radio a live show or one that's been recorded earlier in, in um, with social distancing and so on um, so probably tonight I'll hear a song from a show and go oh my goodness that is absolutely the fantastic one that's absolutely the show I was trying to think of I often find that nowadays the mind perhaps isn't as sharp as it used to be. Uh, you know, when you walk around and you end up in the uh, the wrong room or not knowing why you're in that room and you try and think of somebody's name and nothing comes up or you try and think of something and then uh, three hours later it pops into your mind or what pops into your mind you want to say and then you forget. So uh, the joy, the joy of getting 
more comfortable in our skins. So I know I've been chaffling quite a lot today, which is obviously chatting and waffling. really what I want to bring to this channel is just to be there for you uh, talking about a your day something to share as I say I want to kind of share things that I love that maybe you will love too or things that work for me that maybe will work for you things I've enjoyed that maybe you'll enjoy or maybe you'll hate and just spending time out, as I say, having a little bit of self-care and comforting ourselves, which, oh goodness, we need to do as much as possible. Some days I just feel so anxious, and I know many of you do as well, so I think just taking some time together. And uh, I'm a I'm a bit of an introvert, and I was thinking this this week when I was a child that um, I wonder how I would feel with all the schools being closed down at the moment, um, being at home. Obviously, I know. You know, there's, you miss your friends and the schooling and everything else, and it must be incredibly difficult for homeschooling. But from someone, from my perspective, and this is just my perspective, I, I suffered then and do now a bit with anxiety. And I was often off school um, because I didn't really like school. I felt out of place. I felt I couldn't be me. I wasn't comfortable in my own skin. And I wonder how many children are like that are in fact almost relieved to be at home, that can thrive in their own space, that are now learning in their own space um, because of being as it, anxious or having anxieties or low self-esteem or maybe afraid of their peers or bullies or what have you. I don't know, I was just thinking about it in the week that uh, I used to be so nervous going to school to answer questions or put my hands up. Um, often I couldn't even see the blackboard because um, I had poor eyes and eventually down the line I did get some glasses but uh, for many years I didn't have glasses or when I did have glasses um, I was nervous to put them on because I was very self-conscious about what people would, would say. So I'll wind it up there. So pleased that you have joined me and if you enjoy as I say this time of us just rambling together then please do join me again as it means so very much to me as well. So take care of yourself, be kind to yourself and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye for now. Bye bye.